Roblox games are getting cancelled and we have huge Jahan drama. Roblox just scammed people again and more insane news today. So if you're new, please subscribe. Help us reach 400,000 subs. We're slowly getting closer and anything helps. Let's get into it. And first thing, as far as Roblox games being cancelled and some major The Hunt drama. So as I'm sure literally everyone is aware, yesterday Roblox finally released The Hunt. For the most part, it seems very split. On one hand, there's a bunch of drama and a lot of people are hating it, but then on one hand, a lot of people liked it, so let me break down everything today. So firstly, a lot of games have been under fire and getting a bunch of hate recently for just making like their version of the hunt, which is really awful. Let me show you what I mean. Shut up here to what I was saying. Why have you make a Rolls game in the hunt at this point? And as we can see, Snowboard Obby, for their quest in the hunt, all they did was literally make people wait 15 minutes in the game. That's all you had to do. There was no quest, no, you know, mini game or anything like that. It literally just made people sit there for 15 minutes, which is crazy. And if you're wondering why games do this, it's just because if you have premium and you spend a lot of time in the game, the developer gets more money from premium payouts. That's how a lot of developers make a lot of money. So they literally just did this to form money probably. And a lot of people are getting mad at this game, saying they kind of ruined the hunt and stuff like that. And also with that being said, it's pretty crazy. If you look at the like percentage, it's dropping down like crazy right now. And also, if you look at the dislikes, that red indicates all the new dislikes. So as we can see, before the hunt, they're getting like a little bit every day, you know, normal, and then it spiked up like crazy. So a lot of people are hating on this game right now and disliking it like crazy because what they did for the hunt was kind of stupid and crazy. Literally making people wait 15 minutes for no reason. And it's not just that game. So much other games have been getting called out for just making their version of the hunt like a cash grab and boring. Like Pet Simulator, for example, all they did was you have to play the game till Area 20. No special hunt themed mini game or anything like that. They just want you to play the game to area 20, which once again is probably for premium payout and also just, you know, play time and stuff. So another probably cash grab right there, which is pretty insane. And a bunch of other games did this. And I think this is a major problem with dev hunts that we've always seen. Because on one hand, there's some games that actually try really hard and make it like a really fun thing. Like I think Arsenal and Please Only did some really good stuff this year and they made it like a proper, you know, fun experience. But then there's games like this, which just use this as an opportunity to you know, for money and not put much effort in. And it's been a problem with dev hunts forever now, and it's no different this time around. And also with that being said, besides people getting mad at the games, all people were getting mad at Roblox for this event too. There's just supposed to be another Reddit that go over a thousand upvotes just saying they're totally thinking of the community. And as we can see, they're kind of calling out Roblox for making this event also a cash grab. Firstly, they started a limited item for a thousand Robux for these glasses, which obviously, I mean, a thousand Robux for these glasses are pretty insane, but I mean, it is a limited item and stuff like that. I kind of see why they added it, but I can see why people are angry as well. And then also with that, people are getting angry that they made it even more pay to win. If you want bonus items, you have to get Robux or the Death Walker. And a lot of people are calling a Roblox too, saying the event is just a cash grab for them as well. And if you read the comments, everyone's saying that the event is disappointing because to collect 95 badges for five items is crazy. And if you want more items, you have to pay Robux. And a lot of people are very angry at Roblox right now and also the games in the hunt because they're saying that it's a big cash grab it seems like and also very disappointing and with that being said rdc put out a tweet here just asking people what they think of the hunt so far and after 13,000 votes as we can see here some people didn't try it but most people the majority of people have mixed opinions and then a lot of people think it's a disappointment as well which is pretty interesting and i think that kind of sums it up perfectly because on one hand it's very good that rules finally did something i finally did an event but then on the other hand a lot of people feel disappointed because 95 badges to get five items is crazy and then some of the games involved make it like super pay to win. So it's kind of 50-50. Like there's a good stuff to it, but then there's also bad stuff to it. But with that being said, we have some more hunt news here of just some random stuff that happened yesterday alongside the hunt. The first thing being Roblox bought out all of their own ad systems to advertise the hunt, which is crazy. So right now on Roblox, I think in the in-game ads as well, every single advertisement is just gonna be for the hunt, which is pretty crazy and pretty funny. They did lead to a problem though, but I'll talk about that later. And then also with that being said, there's an Easter egg in the game. If you go to like one of the corners and climb up like the rocks and whatever and zoom all the way out, they actually hit a man face in it, which is kind of funny. I went and tested this, it's 100% real. I thought it was like fake at first, but it is real. A pretty good Easter egg from Roblox there. But in general, with that being said, on day one, we got some pretty major drama and the community seems very split on this, like I said. On one hand, people think that it was so overhyped and it's not as fun and it's disappointing. And they also are mad at the games that are involved. And then on the other hand, some people think that it's fun and it's like a good concept still. Let me know what you guys think. And with that being said, in my opinion, I've always liked dev hunts. Like I've been saying since 2020, I don't mind dev hunts. But with that being said, I think the main reason dev hunts were fun was because even if a game was super grindy you have to play a bunch of games, it was fun because you knew at the end of it you were going to get a prize. But for this one, it's a bit different because they're not getting a prize each game. And I think that kind of aspect makes it a little less fun in my opinion. But I still think that in general, the fact that we got some sort of event this year is very good and a very good step in the right direction. And also with that being said, if you guys remember, Roblox said that the hunt is kind of their first test at events and they wanted more events throughout the entire year. 
So hopefully, with the criticism from the community this time, they should take it into account and make the next event better. But I think it's actually off to a good start and has a lot of potential for the future if you do more editions of this. I think the best way for Roblox to approach these events is to do less games and probably moderate each game. So give developers full control still, but before releasing the event, test their game and whatever they did for the hunt and make sure it's actually proper. So there's some, you know, fairness across everything. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this though, I've seen so much mixed opinions. Do you like the Honda event, or do you think it's disappointing? Let me know what you think. And with that being said, let's get our next story of Roblox accidentally scamming people, and a pretty big issue on Roblox right now. Script here to us saying, Roblox new ad system is so infuriating. Two hours plus 35,000 rolls later, and we still haven't gotten any impressions on our sponsored experience. The ads on the website are so broken and buggy, I had to reach out to the top devs to navigate this glitchy UI. So yeah, Roblox new ad system is scamming people right now. And I'm wondering if this is potentially due to, you know, all the roles advertisements. I don't think it is, but I think that probably has some effect on it. And such as this person, a lot of developers are tweeting out saying that they spend so much Robux and they're getting zero impressions. This person said the exact same thing. Our launch has been blocked because our 35,000 Robux ad has gone in zero impressions all day. Why on earth are the oil system turned off? So yeah, a lot of smaller developers and big games can't release their games right now because they can't advertise them properly. Because even though they spend that much Robux and that much time on it, Rolls isn't pushing the ads for some reason. And they followed up saying something even worse. 12 hours later, they still have zero impressions and they spent, you know, 35,000 Robux. And right now, for some reason, a lot of developers, smaller developers, you know, in general players and whatever, are getting scammed by accident because they spent so much Robux just to get no impressions, which is pretty bad. And with that being said, in our next story of Roblox actually making Robux cheaper for the hunt event, only for certain countries though. So yesterday I actually talked about this and the, all the drama around it, but I didn't really go over the good aspect of it being the Robux sale. And I also missed a country last time, so I thought I'd just cover it again quickly. But basically, Rolls has partnered with Walmart and made gift cards 15% off, as well as a exclusive egg backpack. And you can buy these Walmart gift cards online, which is pretty good. And you get 15% off, which is actually a pretty good deal. Usually they only do like 10%, but 50% is pretty good. And it's only in the US, Canada, Mexico, and the UK, which is pretty unfortunate. Obviously a lot of countries can't participate, but if you are in those countries, it's probably the best time to buy Robux right now because it's 15% off. And you also get a pretty cool item, I guess. If you want to know all the drama surrounding this, so watch my last video. But on the good side, people do get a sale and I guess a cool item, I guess. And with that being said, it's our last story of Tubers93 returning, apparently. So people have been freaking out, tweeting out, saying that Tubers93 is back. And as we can see here, there is an official Tubers93 account back. But as we can see by the description, it isn't actually the real Tubers93. In the description or the about section, they said, Tubers93 returned. Your username was available, so I signed up. So yeah, that's basically all it was. I think they used kind of like a glitch that's been going on for a while, and also the fact that the username was like available. So people just told the account. And the 2 3 account is technically back, but it's not actually hackers behind it this time. It's just people messing around and claim the account. Which is pretty funny, because I've seen people actually being worried like, oh no, Tubers93 is back. Because Tubers93 actually did technically hack some games, unlike most TikTok hackers nowadays. Like Meep City they hacked back in the day and a bunch of other games through like backdoors and stuff. So people actually got scared that they're back, but it's just people reclaiming the account and stuff like that. It's not actually Tubers93 themselves coming back, but still a pretty funny situation in the community. And with that being said, if you enjoyed, check out the video to find out why Roblox disappointed everyone and some drama, and I'll see you in the next one.